Okay, guys, here we go. Another unbelievable abandoned time capsule, mega decayed abandoned time capsule house adventure. This house, as far as I can tell, was lived in at the very least as recent as 2017. And you guys are not going to believe that once we walk through. I went down in the basement and I found a... Uh, I found a hot water tank in the basement that said installed in 2017. You guys are not going to believe that somebody lived in this house in 2017, possibly even after 2017. Anyways, guys, there's so much to see. Let's get to it. No music, no intro. We're going to turn the camera around and get right to it. Here we go. All right, we're getting started at the front door and we're going to make our way. I'm just going to show you guys around a little bit. We got the stairs here family photo up there got all these old books and encyclopedias and magazines and stuff here <clears throat> all right somebody's shirt hanging here so we're gonna go into the living room guys which is where you guys are gonna be like what let me all hear you guys say it what all right so we got some uh stereo equipment here some cds some games some speakers. So let's do a pan around and get you guys a really good look at this room. Look at that wall right there. That is disgusting, guys. Look at this drying rack with a tank top and underwear hanging on it. I think they're dry. This chair. Wait till you guys see all the stuff in this house. You're gonna have your minds completely blown, guys. Look at these lights with a like a tree. It's like a tree. Oh, it's so sad, guys. So sad. <coughs> Look at all the moldy books. Oh, there's a globe. It's completely collapsed. I've never seen a globe do that before. Oh, man. The TV. Like, it almost looks like there was a fire, but there wasn't a fire. It's just that's how decayed and disgusting everything is in here. Look at this couch. It's so moldy. All these books and magazines here. Oh, God, guys. This is not good. I cannot believe some poor person or persons <laughs> had to live in here. I just wonder what it looked like. Like, how fast did this come on? How fast did all this happen? Look at the curtains. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to keep moving on, guys. We got a lot of house to see here. And a lot of little details to check out, too. So we're going to head into the kitchen now. Okay, now we're in the kitchen. Wallpaper has sagged off and covered that picture on the wall there. <sighs> up here, we got more sagging wallpaper covering up plates and mugs and, uh, and trinkets and stuff. We got old wallpaper behind the old wallpaper. Oh, the smell in here, guys. It's not good. Okay. Look at all these CDs and there's books here. Bottles of booze up there. Most of the music is classical music. All right, come on over here. We got a whole collection of uh, matches here. From Travels. All right, let's bring it up and do a pan around of this kitchen area, dining room area. And then before we go to the actual kitchen, we'll head back here. 
We'll see what's going on back here. Another side door here. All right. Got the old man's hats and clothes and suspenders and stuff. Some shoes. And a nasty, nasty old bathroom here. Look at all the cobwebs, guys. Oh, man. It's bad, guys. It's not good. Here's some kind of like a utility room, storage room, pantry, laundry room, maybe. Some old fishing uh, lines down there, fishing rods, weeds. It's a very old house, guys. There's probably so much more that I'm not seeing. I don't want to touch a lot of this stuff, but I think there's probably so much more interesting things in the boxes, but I just don't want to touch everything. Okay. Oh, the smell. Speaking of the smell. Oh, look at here, guys. Oh. All the old clothes are so moldy. Bottles of booze down there. There's a really old Electrolux vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> All right, the kitchen is probably the worst in the whole house. Oh. So we'll just walk over here and I'll pan around and show you guys. We got all the dishes still in the cupboards. We got tea, spices, wine glasses, mugs, all kinds of just crap on the counter here. The floor too. It might have been a fire on the stove at one point. Doesn't surprise me, given that this is an elderly person who was living here. Spice rack. Got some really old Frank's hot sauce. Frank's red hot. I wonder if I could get Carlo to take a shot of that. Betty Crocker recipes and McCall's cooking school cookbooks. Here. Look at this ghetto blaster. Oh, uh -oh. Last time I said ghetto blaster, I got called a racist. I don't believe the term ghetto blaster is racist, but uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong here. Okay, guys, the smell in this kitchen is absolutely unbearable. I can't handle it anymore. I have to go. I got to move on to other parts of the house because I just can't breathe in here. So we're going to make our way back through the kitchen here. I can't believe the situations that I put myself in sometimes, guys. It's so gross in here. Oh, okay. We're going to head upstairs and then from upstairs there's also an attic and the attic has some really, really cool stuff. All right. So here's a bunch of magazines here and books. What's up guys. Okay. We're going to head on up. <clears throat> Dead plants. Big property too. All right. A dirty magazine right here. Penthouse from July 1980. Okay. So we're going to start in this room. Go around all the other rooms and then we're going to go up to the attic. Okay. So there's all kinds of stuff boxed up here. There's a nice blue dress right there. And a bunch of books. All right, British books, photo books, cookbooks, archaeology, history, and some photos here. What do we got here? Oh, look at that. Oh, that probably pumps out some pretty sweet sounds right there. Too bad the house doesn't have power. I'd plug it in and play some tapes. All right, uh, moving right along here. Speaking of tapes. There's a whole bunch of them right there. Sound of Music, Vera Lynn, Kenneth McKellar. Oh, a bunch of books. Encyclopedias. 
That is the way up to the attic, and we're going to go up to the attic after we finish all the other rooms on this floor. All right. Okay. The linen closet here. All right. Through we go into the bathroom. Oh, I didn't look in here. Oh, okay. Got a few things. That hairbrush. Comb. Wow. Check the shower curtain, eh? Out the backyard. Nice big tree. Towels hanging. That's my biggest fan right there. All right. On we go into this room. What do we have here? Okay. Kids books. Christmas books. Love songs, national classics, waltz music. All right, what's under here? Anything? Nope. Okay, big dresser here. Head and shoulders. Check the uh, sewing machine. I pulled this out. It was duck tucked away inside. I pulled it out to take a look. And then <laughs> more books. So here we got a, just a, a desk full of stuff. And there's a thing here full of old coins inside. I don't know anything about coins, so I don't know if there's any value. I thought these were pretty cool, though. All these patches for uh, Canada and the, all of the different provinces and territories there's a patch and a, there's a patch for everything for every province and now it doesn't say what they are and unfortunately i don't do too well at geography so i don't know what all of these are for so unfortunately guys but i think they're pretty neat a couple more over here there you go patches and then there's all these books that are unopened. These are from Reader's Digest and they haven't even been opened yet. They came in the mail and they were never opened. So that's pretty fun. And then there's a really good old closet here with some really old clothes and they're all like taken care of. They had gone to the dry cleaners so they're all in nicely put away in their, in their wrapping and their packaging to keep them nice. We got a mannequin head up there. There's a hat box right there. I can't get to it though. Shoes, yarn. All right. I'm trying to go slower here so you guys can get a look at everything. At the same time, I don't want to take forever. And then we got another bedroom here. Let's see what we got here, guys this thing it's heavy whatever it is i don't know what that is Ooh. all right some pamphlets a suitcase it's in the suitcase here anything got some paper in there Then the other side of the closet has more clothes. We got a robe hanging here, more shirts and stuff, shoes. And then we got a suitcase down here. It's empty. Whew. So much stuff, guys. It's very overwhelming to go through here and go through all this stuff. It's, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of visual stimulation. Speaking of visual stimulation, what's up, guys? All right, let's move on out of this room. It's in here. It's a razor. Electric razor. What's that? Nothing. Okay, moving right along, guys. I found this record player on the floor. I picked it up and put it there. 
an old kid's record player. And then there's an office in here filled with chemicals and suitcases and stuff. All kinds of things all over the place. Weed, killing chemicals. I don't know what any of this stuff is. This is the desk here. Lots of paperwork going on. All right, then we got more like boxes and stuff. And then there's a filing cabinet just filled with paperwork and documents. And then you've got a closet with ties and clothes. All right, let's go up and see the attic, guys. I promised you guys you were gonna like the attic. So let's make our way up to the attic right now. It's almost like it was hidden because this wall here, this was covering the attic. So this piece here was actually right here, completely covering the attic like you couldn't even get to it. Super cool. All right, here we go, guys. Very steep. There's so much cool stuff up here, guys. Like, here we have a very old version of Monopoly. Okay. We have some cutlery here. We have a teddy bear. We have this with a, a, a tiger on it. And it's got some little kid's schoolwork in it. It's just a folder full of some kid's schoolwork. It's pretty neat stuff. I don't want to mess it all up though. So we're just going to close it back up, okay? Um, okay, before I go too deep, we're going to come over here. And we have a bunch of books here and yarn. Some games in there. We'll get to the good stuff, guys. Don't you worry. Okay, there's a, my smallest fan right there. And head on in. We got this old radio right here. Clock radio. A cookbook. And then there's a bed, a really small bed right there. And then there's lots of books scattered all over the floor. And then over here, I found this typewriter. Oh, typewriter inside this case here. Corsair 700. Okay. To this. Oh, a little radio. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Nice chair here, guys. Hey, eh? I bet you there's even stuff under the boards. Okay, yeah, then I found this old thermos. Super duper old thermos. And then I found these flash bulbs. Look at that. I don't see a camera to go with it, though. That would have been pretty neat if there was a camera to go along with it. There's the photo, there's the Kodak Master Photo Guide. Could probably learn a thing or two if I read that. What else might we have in here? That's just a box. What's this? Is this uh what's this? Oops. Hold on guys, one moment please. Flash guide, okay. So, so you can learn how to use your flash settings. Snapshot and flash. It's this one. Handy exposure calculator. Huh, look at that, eh? Pretty cool, guys. I wish the camera was somewhere. It probably is, but I haven't seen it. This is just books. That's more books. Oh no, I dropped my glasses. Anyways, I found that pretty cool. 
I just didn't see the camera, which would have made it even more cool. But as we move around, there's all kinds of just boxes of stuff and books. This whole box here is full of books. School books. All right, this is empty. And then, let's see what's in this one over here, guys. This one's pretty much just got nothing in it. Yeah, like I bet you there's even stuff under here if I really cared to go through all that. Like there's a belt. I found a belt right there, just right now. All right, we're gonna go around the other side where the real surprise is, guys. We're gonna head over here and there's a record here, Tchaikovsky's Sleeping Beauty. All right. And then take a look through here. No, this is like wallpaper and stuff I think in here. All right, here's the good stuff, guys. I found a whole collection of original Dr. Seuss books. Look at this. Green Eggs and Ham. Go Dog Go. Hop on Pop. Cat in the Hat Comes Back. Why I Built the Boogle House. The Big Honey Hunt. Summer. The Bike Lesson. Little Black, A Pony. Sam and the Firefly. The Travels of Dr. Doolittle. Toys and Games to Make. Rabbit and Skunk and the Scary Rock. Trees. Cats. I had trouble in getting to Sola Salu. Hmm. Thidwick and the Big Hearted Moose. Pugh. The Sneetches and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss. The Cat in the Hat. Yertle the Turtle. Little Black A Pony again. Look at them all. A Fly Went By. Animal Riddles. Ah. Heidi. There's more guys, there's so much more. Three Little Horses. The Golden Book of Nursery Tales. I wish I had duck feet. <laughs> and one more. Ah. Bedtime Annual. Whew, that was a lot to go through. Very special box there, guys. All right. I need a minute. I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, guys, that was something. Uh, there's a lot of house to go through here, but I got other places. I don't want to stay here all day, all right? Like, it's been good, and I hope you guys have liked it, and I hope I can give you guys enough detail that you guys will really enjoy it. But I got to go other places to go to, so if you guys like this one, drop me a comment down below. Can you believe someone lived here as recently as 2017 in this kind of a situation? Very sad, guys. Anyways, drop me a comment down below. Hit that like button. Share the video with somebody who you think might like this video. And if you want more amazing abandoned video content like this one right here, make sure you're subscribed. That's it, guys. I gotta go. See you next time. Peace.